Hi everyone! In the past few months, I've started pressing my own flowers. It's a really fun and easy activity and the outcome is so pretty. Although I recently got a beautiful bouquet of roses for my birthday and couldn't part with them. So for the first time, I'll be trying my hand at drying flowers in silica crystals versus hanging them to dry. And I thought I would record the results for anyone who's curious in trying this themselves. I hope you enjoy! Okay, so to properly dry these flowers, um, I have this container here that I'm going to be drying the flowers in. I have some scissors to obviously cut the flowers, um, a measuring cup just in case, and these are the silica crystals I will be using. Um, I bought them off Amazon. If I can find the link, I will leave it in the description below. But yeah, it's decorative accents, flower drying crystals, um, and as you can see here it says preserve flowers. So it's saying it takes about three to five days, which is great. I originally left the stem of the roses partially on um, because I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do with them in the end, but I did end up cutting them off right until the base of the rose uh, just because they were taking up way too much space and I was running out of room as you can tell as I try and Tetris uh, my way. So here are the flowers in their container. Um, so the instruction said it takes about three to five days. Um, I hope everything dries okay. I couldn't fully cover everything. Uh, so I'll probably check in in a day or two and see how that's going, but uh, fingers crossed. I feel like if everything doesn't dry out properly, I can always just um, put them back in again. Uh, or so I hope so let's see hey everyone so it's been I think just about a week um, I last filmed uh, this process you last saw me July 26th and it is now August 2nd so it's a little longer than I intended I just got busy 
and I didn't really have the time to set this all up and really do this. So hopefully that hasn't affected the process. It said three to five days. What happens longer? We're gonna find out. So um, I actually didn't show you this process here, but I actually went ahead and just, I had too many flowers to fit in the, in the uh, container full of the crystals. So I decided to try drawing them kind of, I guess, the old-fashioned way. <laughs> um, so hanging, I hung them up um, as you saw. Actually, no, I don't think I showed this. I'm not sure. Um, but I hung, I tied them up here um, and hung them on a coat hanger and then just, uh, or secured them to the coat hanger and hung them upside down in my closet. It needs to be in a dark uh, place because the light will affect the color of the flowers. So I just thought it would be interesting to to compare. What is this? Oh, it's a leaf. I thought it was a bug. <laughs> I thought it would be interesting to compare the um, results of drying with the crystals and then versus drying more traditionally. So let's pop open this. I'm very excited to see. See, I did check probably about four days ago. So here are the flowers in the box with the crystals. Um, this is gonna be slightly a messy process, hence why I have a towel out here. Um, I'll show you guys a clip at the end um, of them all clean and tidy. I'm not about to try and do that on camera. And I just put lotion on my hands, which is probably not the best thing to be doing. <laughs> wow, okay. So, here is one of the flowers, one of the roses. Uh-oh, petal, petal down, petal down. That's okay. Here is, they're very delicate. Oh, another petal down, okay. I don't know if that has anything to do with the fact that I waited quite a while to dry these. Um, they were starting to wilt the tiniest bit. So, here is one of the roses. Uh, let's. Let's uh, let's dig around here. I feel like I'm at the museum as a little kid and I'm digging for those like fake dinosaur bones in the sand. Shake, 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 shake. <laughs> Another petal down, that's okay. These are actually very pretty on their own. Like I wanna put them in a bathtub and have a very like fairy-esque romantic bath. Um, but I don't know if that's safe to do so, so I probably won't. So here is another flower. One thing I did notice is however you put them in the box with the crystals. So like, let's say, for example, with this case, um, I actually think I might take this one off because it's just looking a little strange. But what happened was this one was further buried underneath the crystals than the other um, petals. So it dried this way, which is kind of interesting. So I wonder if you could like press them open more and have more of a fuller bloom I'm not sure oh god probably not good to shake that by the stems <laughs> okay so and I also put some baby's breath in here just out of curiosity I think it's so pretty too this is so fragile ah ah it's like untangling your headphones but on final boss mode Oh wow, these came out really pretty. These are really, really pretty. When I was looking at the reviews of this product on Amazon, um, people were mentioning like, oh, this is how I preserve my wedding bouquet. So I think that would be a really cool way to, like any sort of special bouquet that you get, um, wedding, gift, birthday, graduation, whatever. I think this is a really cool way to do that. Look at how pretty these ones came out. Just absolutely gorgeous. So let's take a look at the ones that I put in my closet. Get out of the way. So here they are. Still very pretty. Uh, I put the leaves in there just to see what would happen. These did not dry, these thicker uh, ones. So I think I might pull them out. The baby's breath dried really nicely. Um, the baby's breath here is almost identical to the one that I put, it's actually yeah, it's pretty much identical to the one that would dry in the crystals. So, um, for anyone wanting to dry baby's breath, uh, it doesn't matter how you do it. <laughs> and I mean, it doesn't matter how you dry the roses or other flowers anyways. It's just different looks and different vibes to it. 
So I'm going to pick one of these roses out here so I can show you an up close. So this is one of the roses that dried hanging upside down in my closet in the dark. So as you can see, it has a lot more of a kind of wilted look to it. Um, I think it's still very pretty. It just has a totally completely different vibe compared to the flower that dried in the crystals. The flower that dried in the crystals is a lot more vibrant. Um, this kind of has like a haunted mansion vibe to it. <laughs> and this kind of has like a fairy ethereal um, foresty vibe to it. I don't know where I'm going with these analogies. So let's just take a look. Yeah, the color in this one has faded a lot more. It's still very pretty though. I have to say the crystals did an amazing job at uh, keeping all the color. So here's another one. You can see, and here I'll bring that guy lower so you guys can see properly. So I'm going to take these all out. Uh, well take these all out and then come back and show you all the kind of final reveal. And I thought I'd show you all what I ended up doing with them. So using some branches I pruned from my tree, I made a wreath to hang above my bed, and I think it actually turned out really pretty. Anyways, thanks so much for watching my video. I hope you're all, uh, staying safe and taking care of yourself um, or as much as you possibly can currently and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!